What is a trigger warning? A trigger warning is an early notification of any subject matter which might be considered traumatizing for the audience. Trigger warnings have become common in university lectures and reading lists. Usually, they are either issued verbally prior to the lecture or are part of the syllabus. Trigger warnings are a controversial topic. According to some estimates, around 51% of academics use trigger warnings. Some universities have even begun to require that faculty use trigger warnings before they present potentially sensitive material. However, study after study has found them to be ineffective. Trigger warnings do not seem to help, but instead they increase students' anxieties. Trigger warnings can also create a culture of safetyism and coddling. In some cases, trigger warnings have been used to shield students simply from an idea that is controversial. Trigger warnings have also been placed on many widely read books and plays, including The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain, and Shakespeare's The Merchant of Venice. Even some of Grimm's fairy tales, including Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, Hansel and Gretel, and Little Red Riding Hood have been subject to trigger warnings. Trigger warnings have contributed to a culture of safetyism and a significant weakening of resolve, fortitude, and stoicism. Universities' willingness to apply trigger warnings has emboldened activists to go even further. They're now demanding course and curriculum changes as well as exclusion of speakers and canceling works of literature. To summarize, trigger warning policies, though they may be well-meaning, have failed in numerous studies. They've proven to be largely ineffective and in some cases harmful. Some of the negative drawbacks of having trigger warning policies include posing a significant threat to academic freedom and challenging the rights of professors by compelling speech or restricting offensive or triggering speech. They make unacceptable assumptions about the reader and rely on generalizations that these policies hope to avoid. They prevent dialogue in the classroom and deny students the opportunity to engage and debate important but difficult topics. Institutionalizing ineffective policies. These policies do little more than censor the classroom in hopes of protecting students from words on a screen. And finally, they are contributing to a culture of safetyism and the coddling of students on campus. The Martin Center recommends that universities take steps to limit the use of trigger warnings. We would recommend that universities strongly discourage the use of trigger warnings, but allow instructors to choose whether to include them on their syllabi or in courses, make all syllabi public, preferably months ahead of the course or module, thus allowing individual students to decide whether or not they personally can handle specific content never require instructors to use trigger warnings. Adopt a statement in support of free expression, such as the Chicago Principles. And finally, defend instructors who teach controversial topics. Thank you for watching. You can read more about our Blueprints for Reform at our website, jamesgmartin.center. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel.